Hi, I'm Robbie, just a simple shib. Finding a genie in a dusty old lamp was supposed to be the highlight of my week. Scratch that. My entire life. So you can imagine my excitement when, while cleaning out my grandmother's attic, I stumbled upon an ancient <gasps> ornate lamp. Of course I rubbed it, wouldn't you? Poof, out popped a genie. But not just any genie. This one was wearing a Hawaiian shirt, Bermuda shorts, and a pair of sunglasses perched precariously on his nose. Dude, thanks for letting me out, he said, stretching as if he'd been napping for centuries. Name's Jimmy. You get three wishes. Standard rules apply. No wishing for more wishes, no messing with free will, and no bringing back the dead. Got it? I nodded, hardly believing my luck. A real-life genie. All right, let's start with something simple. I wish for a million dollars. Jimmy snapped his fingers. Done! I looked around, expecting a pile of cash to appear. Instead, there was a deafening silence. Then, my phone buzzed. It was an email notification. Congratulations! You've won a $1 million shopping spree in Monopoly money. Are you serious? I groaned, staring at the screen. What? You didn't specify which currency! Jimmy shrugged, looking completely unapologetic. Anyway, next wish? I decided to be more specific. Okay, I wish for a brand new sports car. An electric blue Ferrari parked in my driveway. Jimmy snapped his fingers again. You got it, pal! I rushed outside, my heart racing. And there it was. A perfect, gleaming blue Ferrari made entirely out of Lego bricks. This is a joke, right? I said, pointing at the colorful, blocky mess in my driveway. Hey, it's brand new, electric blue, and technically a Ferrari, Jimmy said, holding up a Lego instruction manual. It even comes with assembly instructions! I buried my face in my hands, trying to suppress a scream. Okay, last wish. This time, no funny business. I wish for the ability to fly, Jimmy raised an eyebrow. Are you sure? That's a pretty big one. I'm sure. I want to fly. Like, Superman style. No strings attached. He shrugged. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. With a snap of his fingers, the transformation was complete. I felt lighter, almost weightless. I took a tentative step and then launched myself into the air. For a moment, it was everything I dreamed of. Wind in my hair, city skyline below, freedom like never before. Then I realized I couldn't stop. I was flying, but I had no control. I zoomed past skyscrapers, narrowly avoiding a collision with a helicopter, and hurtled toward the horizon. This isn't flying! This is just falling with style! I screamed, trying to figure out how to land. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of screaming and flailing, I managed to crash land in a haystack on the outskirts of town. Dazed and covered in straw, I staggered to my feet. Jimmy appeared beside me, still in his ridiculous outfit. So, how was it? You're terrible at this, I snapped. Every wish has been a disaster. Hey, I warned you, genies aren't perfect, but at least you got a million Monopoly dollars, a sweet Lego Ferrari, and one heck of a flying experience, right? He grinned, clearly enjoying my frustration. I sighed. Can I at least wish for you to be better at this? Nope but you can wish for a better genie next time, or, you know, read the fine print. With that, he vanished back into the lamp, leaving me to wonder if it was all just a bizarre dream. As I limped back home, I decided one thing. Next time I found a magical lamp, I'd ask for a refund first. A few weeks later, the memory of Jimmy's disastrous wish-granting escapades had faded enough for me to start laughing about it. I was at a flea market, browsing through a jumble of oddities and antiques, when a strange feeling drew me to a dimly lit corner booth. An elderly man with piercing eyes and a knowing smile sat behind a table, cluttered with various curiosities. Among them was a familiar ancient lamp. You seem to recognize this, he said, his voice gravelly and oddly compelling. Yeah, I do, I replied, surprised. I had one just like it. Perhaps it's destiny that you found it again the man said, pushing the lamp toward me. Take it. No charge. 
I hesitated, but something about the man's gaze and the lamp's familiar weight in my hands compelled me to accept. I left the market, lamp in tow, feeling a strange mixture of excitement and trepidation. When I got home, I couldn't resist giving it a rub. Poof! Jimmy appeared, this time wearing a top hat and holding a magician's wand. You're back! Did you miss me? He said with a wink. Not really, I replied, holding up the book, Genealogy 101, A Beginner's Guide to Understanding and Handling Genies, which I had found in Grandma's attic. But I did some research, and I'm ready to try again. Jimmy looked at the book and raised an eyebrow. Oh, Genealogy 101, huh? That's the basic stuff. But all right, hit me with your best shot. I took a deep breath. I wish for a fulfilling, high-paying job that I'm good at and enjoy, with great colleagues and a reasonable boss. Jimmy snapped his fingers. Consider it done! My phone buzzed again. It was an email from a prestigious company offering me a position I couldn't have dreamed of, complete with an impressive salary package. Excited, I reported to my first day at work, only to find out my high-paying job involved being a taste tester for extremely spicy hot sauces. The pay was indeed impressive, but every lunch break turned into a tongue-searing, tear-inducing ordeal. Back home, with my mouth still on fire, I made my second wish. All right, Jimmy. For my second wish, I want a mansion with all the luxuries and conveniences anyone could ever dream of. Jimmy grinned and snapped his fingers. Done! I blinked, and suddenly I was standing in front of a massive, opulent mansion. It was beautiful, with sprawling gardens, a private cinema, and more rooms than I could count. But as I explored it, I noticed a different problem. The mansion was located on an isolated island, with no way to contact the outside world. No cell reception, no internet, and no neighbors. Seriously, Jimmy? A mansion on a deserted island? I yelled. Hey, you asked for all the luxuries and conveniences anyone could dream of. Peace and quiet are pretty luxurious, Jimmy said with a mischievous grin. Frustrated, I took a deep breath, determined to make the last wish count. Okay, Jimmy, one more wish. And this time, no loopholes, no tricks. I wish for lasting happiness and good health for myself and my loved ones. Jimmy's expression softened. He snapped his fingers one last time. Done, and I must say, that's a solid wish. I felt a warm glow inside, a sense of contentment and peace that hadn't been there before. It worked. Thanks, Jimmy. You've redeemed yourself. He grinned. Anytime, dude. Just remember, being clear and specific is the key. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to a tropical vacation. Lamp life can get pretty cramped. With that, he vanished in a puff of smoke, leaving me with a renewed appreciation for the power of a well-made wish. As I settled into my life, I couldn't stop thinking about what just happened. Oh, I forgot to ask him for my refund. I chuckled to myself. Thank you for staying until the end of my story. If you enjoyed this and would like to see more, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. It will help us a lot. We highly encourage you to watch our other videos or click on the next recommended video. Thank you. See you next time.